What's up everybody, New Joker 6 here and and my controller doesn't work. Apparently. It's our our excuse me? What do we get? What's wrong? <laughs> it's a hit stop start. We good? There we go. I don't know what that was on about, but today we're gonna take a look at Valkyr's claws. So let's go ahead and take a look. Sorry, her talents. So we're running with hysteria, which is her stance, you can't really change that. And then we're going with Prime Pressure Point, Prime Fury, True Steel, Berserker, Prime Fever Strike, Shocking Touch, Drifting Contact, and Organ Shatter. I personally prefer Drifting Contact over Body Count, and Body Count does not work on here. So Drifting Contact is, though, very, very similar. It's a two second difference, and you also get a status increase, which is only a plus. Um, now, if this is too fast for you, you cannot hit E quick enough to melee. Then you can try dropping Prime Fury down to a normal Fury, and it works just as well. Or if that's, for whatever reason, still way too fast for you, then I guess I would suggest dropping either the your Prime Fury or the Berserker. Um, probably the Prime Fury, and then just putting in another Elemental, a Dual Stat in there. Just to increase their corrosive further. But, and that's what we're running with here. That's one form as you saw on the top there. Let's go ahead, hop in, and what do we got? Corrupted Heavy Gunner and a Corrupted Bomber. I'm gonna run in, I'm just gonna um, attack him with the stance, and then I'll respawn him in, and I'll show you with it with um, the finishers for anyone out there that may go for duration and range uh, for their paralysis. So as you see, the uh, speed does really kick up there, so if you're not ready, you can easily, I guess, miss it or screw up on your combo. And you see, the finishers are going to be that one-shot kill. Um, I'll go ahead and show an example with the normal fury. That way, maybe you guys can make kind of make that decision before putting a former in. Uh, where is it? Right here. If you want to go with a normal fury instead of a prime fury, just to get a little bit of slowdown. But you see, it's still very quick. And then I'll show you guys an example um, in case you guys want to maybe not go with as much speed. But instead, a dual stat elemental. Let's just go on. right on down here. Um, condition overload would be an option as well, but th that would fit in here, right? No, that actually won't. Uh, so if you want condition overload or you want to give that a try, you're going to need a second forma. Um, I know this focus energy, but whenever I come to dual stat, I personally prefer going with the toxin. Just no real reason, just because. Oh, and uh, I do want to note in the, st in the stats there. In the Simulcrum, status does show up as 0%, that it's just a Simulcrum bug. Um, the base status chance is 10%, and you will see that if you go into your arsenal on the Orbiter. So with Drifting Contact, it puts up to uh, 14%, and then if you have a dual stat, it's only going to go up from there. So you see, if you want to go for the less speed, and you don't want to go with the Fury, dual stat is perfectly viable here. And still with that one single forma. Um, now, out of curiosity, what am I missing? Four, five, six, seven. Condition overload needs what? Ooh. Actually, I could do that because I could. Whoops. 
I take my Berserker here that is not fully ranked. Because Berserker is still going to cap out at 75%. And we can do that and then give you an idea of what it's like to go condition overload. If you want to try swapping your Fury out for that. So these are just some alternatives that uh, you can think about and kind of make that call on. Um, I'm just showing you guys what they're like. I normally don't show you guys the difference, the alternatives. Uh, but I usually just like recommend them or that, but I'm showing you them today. Um, did he just... He did. <laughs> So overall, I will, I'll do another spawn there for the condition overload, but overall, do I, what would I go with? I'd probably go with the, either the dual stat or the fury. But you can see condition overload works just fine if you guys want to go that route. And if I'm not mistaken, which I could be, uh, I believe this spin actually did a lot of damage on these 135s. A lot more than what I was expecting. Berserkers all the way back this way. Right here. There we go. That was more difficult than it really needed to be. Look at that. Like, without anything, no combo built up. Um, for a 135, I think that does just fine. Um, for that Bombard, that one sure didn't, but that second one really finished them off. It got that Slash proc and it just finished them. So, I mean, especially after you start building up your combo a little bit. Um, these, whoops. The sliding attacks can definitely hurt. Look at that. Didn't get a slash in there, but... Of course, the claws do have a shorter range, but... Obviously, I wouldn't recommend going for that kind of route but you know if you're like maybe you're gonna run in and spin into a large group of enemies or something you're butchers and that you're most likely just gonna one shot them anyway but this video has gone on a lot longer than what I expected it was gonna be um, so there's the build I'll go ahead and throw it back up there you go, you got Prime Fury, you can swap it out for Normal Fury if you want a little more slowdown. Or if you want to remove that slowdown altogether, you can put in a Dual Stat Elemental. Which would be, in this case, Focus Energy, correct? No, not Focus Energy. Oh, maybe there is no, no, there's got to be a Dual Stat. It's uh, Voltaic, right? Yeah, you can go with Virulent Scourge or Voltaic Strike if you want to go that route. At which point this will give you plus 60% status chance, plus Drifting Contacts plus 40%. That would get you up to a 20% status chance. Hmm. So your options are Prime Fury, Regular Fury, a Dual Stat Elemental such as Virulent Scourge or Voltaic Strike. Or if you reduce the rank of Berserker, you can go with Condition Overload. Those are your options. That's what we're going with. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I showed you the performance of every one of those. And whichever ones you guys decide to go with is completely up to you guys. So, that's about it. Take care. Have yourselves a good one.